It's a great privilege to come. Arthur Waldron is a professor of history with a specialization in China at the University of Pennsylvania. He watched Shen Yun performing arts at the Miriam Theater in Philadelphia on March 10th and said he enjoyed the performance. I've, of course, been a student of China for 40 years. This reminded me of why I chose that, because this is the authentic treasure that Chinese civilization contains. And as I watch those dancers and I listen to the music, I think this is incredibly good. It's world standard. These people can do anything. Waldron got his bachelor's at Harvard University, then lived in Asia for four years before returning to Harvard for his Ph.D. Within the subject of Asian history, he has focused on China during the late Qing dynasty to the early communist period. In China, there are a billion people and they can't do anything. What would happen if all of that talent were released? The, the tremendous success that this Shen Yun is having around the world shows that in the battle between despotism, false culture, lack of morality, and virtuous rule, study of goodness, self-cultivation, there's no question who will win. Since China's Communist Party came to power in 1949, it has instituted a systematic campaign to destroy traditional Chinese culture, which is what Shen Yun is seeking to revive. For this reason, Shen Yun has performed all over the world, but is yet to perform in China. It's almost a miracle to me that there are five groups performing all over the world except in Beijing. But I promise you, if you did a tour of China, which someday you'll be able to do, I don't know if I'm going to live to see it, that the people would pack in and they would cheer. NTD News, Philadelphia.